Hi, I'm Mark Bubniak, Director of Athletics here at Averill Park, and I'd like to take a few minutes here to talk about the proposed capital project, and more specifically, the uh, improvements to the physical education facilities that are in Proposition 2. So let's go take a look at some of the areas where some of these improvements will take place. So right now, we're standing uh, in the outfield of both of our current softball fields. Uh, this is where the proposed synthetic turf field would go. Uh, this would take our physical education program, our interscholastic athletic program, and our community youth organization programs to the next level. It would add usable additional field space. Uh, the additional field space has always been an issue in our district, uh, not just here at the high school, uh, and not just throughout the district, but throughout the community. We just don't have enough usable fields uh, for the demand that we have uh, for both our interscholastic teams and our community youth organizations as well as our physical education program. Uh, it's also going to be usable and when I say usable uh, the current fields that we have obviously they're natural grass fields they need rest um, we, we can't always use them in bad weather conditions and certain times of the year. This field we'll be able to use for almost 12 months a year all day every day. Uh, more specifically to physical education, it will add a teaching space for a physical education program that will increase student learning and allow them to be outside for a majority of the year, depending on what units they're doing in physical education. Uh, specific to interscholastic athletics, we would be able to use this field for uh, boys and girls soccer, uh, boys and girls lacrosse, football, and softball. They'd be able to play games and have practices on this field. In addition, uh, baseball would also be able to use the field for practice as well. Uh, the field would be able to be used in any types of conditions. Uh, living here in the Northeast, the end of the fall season, the beginning of the spring season is always messy. A lot of times, uh, our interscholastic athletic teams, uh, especially in March and early April, they have to practice in the parking lots. They use our facilities for youth football, they use our facilities for soccer, and also lacrosse, among other things. And this field uh, would be open to them as well. So right now we are standing in the uh, proposed area where the 66 additional parking spots would go. Uh, these spots uh, would be for people that um, maybe have mobility issues, uh, that cannot get themselves up to the, uh, the natural grass fields that we have, the upper fields and or the uh, baseball and or softball fields. Uh, those fields from the uh, closest current parking spot are approximately seven tenths of a mile. So many times we get requests from people that are unable to make that walk up there uh, to drive up there. Um, on our access road that we currently have. However, that brings some uh, issues in and of itself. If the uh, synthetic turf project goes through, this will allow us to relocate where football practice normally happens. Right now, football practice happens in the baseball outfield. Uh, and that's uh, not good for a number of reasons, including the fact that we can't have a permanent outfield fence out there, as well as it tears up uh, that outfield uh, so it's not good after football season and then until the spring season it doesn't have enough time to recuperate and get better and ultimately um, you know it's a safety hazard out there for our outfielders on the baseball field. Our auxiliary baseball field and that would be where our new softball field would go. That would have new fencing, new, dug new dugouts and a scoreboard up there and it would give our community members and uh, fans a unique opportunity to be able to go up and watch not only a baseball game but also a softball game happening at the same time. One of the questions that's asked uh, by people a lot is why are we not just going to uh, put the synthetic turf inside the track on the current field that's there. Uh, the main reason is uh, the way our track is built and tracks are built differently at different schools um, but the way our track is built, uh, you could only fit at the most approximately a 65-yard wide field inside that track. Uh, that is 
uh, not even close to what a typical uh, high school soccer game is played on. By putting a turf field in here, that wouldn't be giving us any more field space. Uh, by putting the turf field over here, um, we would still be able to use this field for practices and uh, youth groups. So the, by putting the turf field outside of the track, it gives us an additional uh, field to work with here on campus and within the district.